Okay, now I was seriously questioning if my abilities were just starting to go with my age and my reflexes. Uh, this game started out very, very poorly. That was actually the wrong opponent. This is the right one here. Sasha 14392. Shout out to my opponent. He was he was very he was very good. We played a good game. Yeah, so right off the bat, I know now not to throw a change up to this guy. You know, they change up uh everyone's usually geared up for the fast stuff, so I figured it would work and um he blasted it to left. So anyway, move on from that. He got on base so many times that at one point I was just hoping I would match him in hits, even if I wouldn't come back. I think it was down to 6 nothing at one point in this game, um, and I was just, like I said, hoping to match up in hits because I was hitting poorly. There was just no way to figure out this guy either. Like, he, that fastball inside, he was crushing at some point in the game. Other times, it was getting jammed on. Very unpredictable hitter. Sometimes, the hardest to face. And to make it worse, this guy was carving me up with Merrill Kelly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not good. I think I struck out uh, the leadoff batter, too. All right, on to the second. He had insane numbers with Jeter already, and I'm pretty sure he went four for four with Jeter today. Um, I threw the pitches everywhere which way I could with lefties, righties. Didn't matter. He hit uh, with Jeter. He was by far his best hitter. I think he was hitting like the 390s and then Corey Seager. Um, probably his second best hitter. And he's got him down in the six and seven spot in his lineup for some reason. Not sure why, because they all did great off of me today. He's in 372 of them. I think Seager hit two bombs or something like that. By the way, I can't wait to get that Cody Bellinger. He just got on first base. Here's Jeter again. First, first pitch fastball. I don't think Jeter swung and missed at all during this game when I threw to him. So he gets another run in here. Not looking great. Again, you can tell by the way I'm where I'm putting the pitches before I even throw it. I have no idea where to throw it. Corey Seager hit the bomb here. Uh, it was perfect, perfect. Hopefully the audio caught that because it was loud. Uh, he might have gone back to back to back here. Yeah, I didn't bother chasing that too far. So at least, oh no, he struck out with Rollins, so not back to back, but I'm pretty sure he had three home runs in the same inning. This one ended up right down the middle. Thought I had a chance to rob it and no bueno. Okay, so looking at the scoreboard, I am down 10 to 1 in hits and 6 to nothing. At this point, like I said, I'm not even worried about the score anymore with how badly I've been hitting. I just want to get enough hits to make me feel good at the end of the game. That's my mentality right now at this point in the game. Missing sinkers right down the middle, popping them up, flying them out. Um, just get more hits. That's my whole mentality. I somehow get Devers on. I'll just go back to it because it was my first squared up ball all game, I think. A little single through the shift. And then that set up my second squared up perfect of the game for Mike Trout. Finally got under a pitch enough to send it out and uh, while squaring it up. So feeling definitely a little bit better at this point, but still got to get more hits because I'm well under that under that mark of his. He's got like, he's still got 10 hits. I have three. So I get through at least five and two thirds with um, Aaron Nola. That was the only time I got Jeter out. So I brought in Brock Stewart to get him. He, he was throwing the same sequence every single at bat to right. He's a sinker down and in, and then a cutter away. Uh, so I had to go chase one of them at some point to get a hit, which is what we did here. I don't know if it had mounted to anything. No, flew out with Ken Griffey, but we're getting closer. We're getting more hits, right? Remember, that was my whole goal. I managed to get a base runner and a fast one, Rollins, at third. Ground out, fielder's choice for another RBI. Not a hit, but feeling better that I'm getting the game closer just making it look like I'm not getting absolutely demolished even though at this point I kind of am don't see a lot of people using this Nolan Arenado so I just really wanted to get him in my lineup I have no idea what happens here what he's doing I don't know if he was an accidental button press or a troll and then he was actually trying to catch it but um, that, that happens and I get Arenado to second with less than two outs so there's that a little momentum for me by the way, if you guys are not using Brock Stewart in your bullpen, I think you will be very surprised by him if you get him in there a couple appearances. He's uh, He's been holding it down for me very, very well. All right, so I get this sinker to the gap with Yasmani. He barely gets the second base with his 24 speed, but another run, another hit. Now, at this point, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm already satisfied. I'm kind of already thinking, like, this game could go toe-to-toe -to -toe and I'll end up losing, but I'll be happy that I came back and didn't absolutely make didn't just make a fool out of myself and not hit the ball so we're coming back 
got Yasmani over to third, and then uh, all I needed was a single, and that's that's what we did there. He threw that changeup up down low a lot, but not low enough. Uh, so I went after it a lot and got those ground ball singles. Um, not great hits, but they're hits. So at this point, I'm only within three of his hit total, and that's making me feel a lot better. And without even really glancing at it that much, I was back in the game down by, down by one, six to five. Here's another hit for Jeter. Brooks Raley did great. I think this might have been the only hit he gave up. Actually, no, never mind. I knew he gave up a bomb after this. So his Corey Seager and, like I said, his Derek Jeter were just, he was doing unbelievable with them batting average-wise. Hooks around this change up early. I hate these types of home runs because it did give him early, you know, advantage and all that, but I, yeah, it's, it just sucks that it has to happen like that. Oh, well, I've probably gotten plenty of like that, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Um, we get a nice little out here, too. I could tell he was getting impatient with his pitching, like he was just throwing meatballs, fastballs, sinkers right down the middle, and I'm not doing anything with him, so I can't blame him for throwing that, and then he hangs a slider, uh, probably hoping I'd get out in front of it again or just swing over top of it, um, but that felt good, and then we go back to back. He's thinking the same thing he's been doing. All game, I can't really blame him. I've been missing pitches down the middle, so he throws another fastball down the middle. This time I get it. Lefty, lefty, which I've been horrible with lately. I get Johan Duran up. And when I say I was missing pitches down the middle, I mean, like, I could prove it right here. This one this one was awful. That could have been a home run to left center field, like the one he had earlier. And I had good timing on it, too. Just completely missed it. Um, but we do get on base with a hit through the shift finally do something with Kyle Seager. Uh, he throws another pitch right down the middle, slider. Sometimes those can fool you. Swing way too early at it, but um, I'm able to hook it. And then there's still no outs at this point. I'm only down by one run, so not getting my hopes up the way I've been playing that I'm going to tie the game anytime soon, but I figured I could at least tie the game. Just put a ball in play. So I do get out with Nolan, but I get this squeaker down the line. Barely move my PCI like up, not even to the right or inside at all, and tie the game up. Still no outs, and now there's two men in scoring position with no outs. He's got to be frustrated by those hits. I don't think I really... I mean, you know, there's flukes that happen all the time in the game. Um, this one, unfortunately, did not give me the lead. And Jimmy Fox, kind of been struggling with, but he's still a great player, so just put a ball in play. 94 speed on third base will give me the lead. Um, that worked nicely. And I was almost out right there. With the way he's been pitching, I was just guessing he was going to throw something right down the middle or a cutter inside again. And um, I finally timed it up and got the PCI on it for once. So demolished that ball with Ken Griffey Jr. That felt amazing. Kind of knew I had the game locked up at this point. I could just tell my opponent was getting impatient with all the at-bats. So he just, you know, I figured if I just pitched decently enough, I'd get through the next inning. And that's exactly what happened. And I brought in Johan Duran to do that. First batter he faced was a fly out to Ronald. And then I think I jammed him. He was actually being, he actually was being patient in the ninth inning. Uh, that was a 2-1 pitch. I guess he couldn't resist when he saw I was coming in the zone. And then the next one, I figured I, and up by three, I might as well try a fastball, even though he was on him all day. Gets jammed and end the game that way. So, very nice to, very nice to come back for that one. That doesn't happen a lot. Alright, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Thanks for watching.